Hello students, my name is Neelima. I am GS faculty in ACE Engineering Academy. Today I am going to tell you all what is the GS preparation strategy for Transco, Genco, NPDCL and SPDCL exams. The idea of doing this video is to help you prepare for GS because uh, I am sure all students you are scared of GS and the vast area it covers. So this video will exactly tell you how to prepare for GS and what you should focus on rather than wasting time on learning a lot of things uh, because the exam does not require an intense preparation. Uh, it only requires a bird's view perspective wherein you just don't go into details, no few things which are important, right? So the areas what we are going to see, how you have to prepare, that is what this video is all about, right? So the topics what you need to focus for GS for this exam is one, your Telangana history, Telangana movement and Telangana state formation. So what you can see here Telangana history is about you know only three uh, dynasties which you, you can get questions on. One is the Kakatiyas, the Qutub Shahis and the Asaf Jais. So that what you have to study under that I will go in a little detail later on. Now, Telangana movement, what are the questions you can ex expect is given in the list of what is there in the Telangana movement like for example Telangana arms struggle, unification of Hyderabad into the Indian Union, uh, right? the Mulki agitation and so on. So these what are listed right now, only these if you look at it. What you have to look at it is like the names of the people involved, the dates which are important, right? these kind of questions you have to see. And if you just look at these areas under Telangana movement, it is more than sufficient for these exams. Now Telangana state formation, what are the areas you have to focus under that? Like for example, the organizations that advocated separate Telangana, the Telangana Information Trust, the Telangana uh, Aikya Vedika, you know these kind of uh, organizations. Then you look at uh, the establishment of the TRS party uh, and the details related to the when was it, the date, the important people under it and so on, right? And all the committees which led to the formation of the state. So these kind of uh, uh, details what have been listed right now in the slide, those are the things you need to see, right? Now that we are done with how you have to prepare on what you have we need to prepare on Telangana state formation, Telangana movement, next we look at what are the areas you have to cover under history. See history, the three dynasties which I told you all, Kakatiyas is one important dynasty where you can get a lot of questions. Now what should you read under Kakatiyas because it's such a huge dynasty, there are so many areas under the dynasty where you have to focus on. But Past questions have showed us that these are the prominent areas where questions are being asked. So uh, and that we have divided it into just five groups. So one is your political history. So when I say political history, what should you read under that? Just you should know the founders, the rulers in a chronology, like you know who was the first king, who was the most important king, which king did what, you know that chronology you need to know, the founders and uh, the rulers in chronology, then the titles of rulers, like right? what title, if any special title was given to them or so, those titles, because those come as potential questions. The second area is administration. Now when I say administration, you don't have to go into the depth of what was the style of administration or no, you don't have to focus on those things. What you need to do is just the levels of administration, like for example, the gram level, the, you know, the village level, the district level, what was it and uh, what were the departments and what were the names of those officials, right? Those kind of questions. Then under agriculture and irrigation, now this is a very, very important area because uh, Right now we get questions on that even now because you know irrigation is continuing like we are talking about the tanks, we are talking about Mission Kakatiya and all these things. So the, the history part of it, so you, what is important here is tanks, right? And who, which king has built and right now where is it located? Those are important. Then the next area of questions will be temples and features, who built, who are the kings who built it? Sometimes you know the person who has built it is different, he may not be the king. Who is the king who built it and which deity is worshipped, right? So which god or goddesses for, for whom that temple has been constructed, that you need to know. Then under literature and architecture, the books, the literary works, books and poets and the inscriptions, the very, very important inscriptions under the Kakatiyas. 
The next dynasty, what you have to focus on is on the Qutub Shahis. So, what questions under this? Like the chronology of rulers again, founder, the last king, you know, the, the important kings in the Qutub Shahis. Then the major battles with the Vijayanagar rulers and the Bahmanis and other kingdoms, right? But majorly Vijayanagar and Bahmanis. These are the questions that you can get. Then the next most important area where you can get questions on the Qutub Shahis is the monuments. Who built, like for example, you talk about uh, Charminar or you talk about Salajang, right? So who built these monuments? Uh, which period, under which ruler it was built? Who is the architect of that? And the most important striking feature of that particular monument. These are the areas you have to see. The next area what you have to look at is Asaf Jahis. Now, three dynasties, Kakatiyas, Qutub Shahis and Asaf Jahis. Asaf Jahis, again, you look at the kings, the chronolo chronology of the rulers, who are the important ministers in, that, uh, in, in their rule and what are the major battles they have fought. Like, you know, they have fought with the British, right? So you have to look at those uh, battles. Then movements. So you're talking about what were the famous movements during that period, like you had the movement against the Nizam, uh, against the Nizams, the national movements, uh, the national movement events that took place in Hyderabad state. And uh, under that, you, ha you need to know who were the leaders who led those movements, uh, which place and where did the separation take place? So these are a very, this is a very, very important area. Then again, monuments, who built it, who are the architects and uh, which period they have built it. And another area which is very important here is the merger, the merger with the Indian Union, right? So you have to look at the merger. Under the merger with the Indian Union, you have to look at uh, who was the last Nizam and his contribution to Hyderabad. The Razakar movement, who were the leaders and the suppression under that, uh, Operation Polo and the peasant movement. So that's what you don't have to focus more on these things, right? So now we finished, uh, we touched upon the areas on Telangana history. We looked at the movement, we looked at the formation. The next area what you need to focus on is on general knowledge and current affairs. Now both are different, right? So general knowledge, what are the areas questions can come? The recent one, like, you know, awards, persons in news, cabinet ministers, if any changes have happened, recent ministers, abbreviations, like for example, we had, uh, you know, you if you have a summit like a SARC summit, right? So what is the expansion of SARC? Right? These kind of questions and boundaries. So we, when we talk about boundaries, you should know boundaries of Telangana as well as boundaries, Indian, Indian boundaries like India and its neighboring countries. What are those areas? Very few, uh, very, very uh, simple GK questions. Then current affairs, what are the things you have to focus on? One is appointments, be it uh, important, important appointments, what has happened in the country recently. And if, in case if it is Telangana, also you need to know. Then recent prime minister visits to foreign countries. When, if the prime minister has gone to some country and met or signed any, which country did it go, or what declaration or what agreement he has signed, those kind of questions. Then visits of foreign delegates to India. Like for example, we had the Iranian Prime Minister coming to India or right now we have the Canadian Prime Minister who has come, into, come to India, right? So you need to look at uh, who, who were the recent foreign delegates who have come to India. Then space. Now this is one important area where you can get questions on, like which satellite has been launched or what is that satellite for, right? Those kind of questions. Then defense, which ship has been commissioned, right? Or which, uh, you know, any kind of uh, commissions or decommissioning has happened, those questions. And finally, any recent summits that have happened. Like recently we had the Davos summit that happened, right? The economic, for the World Economic Summit in Davos. So those kind of recent summits that have happened. I think if you cover these areas very broadly, it is more than sufficient for you to crack all the GS questions or the general awareness questions in your exam. All the very best students and hope you crack the exam. Thank you.